Hey there, dudes, and welcome back to another episode of Two-Turn Corporate Clash. I am your host, Bob Bubblegum, and today we are on the final task of Acorn Acres. It's about time. No, I'm recording and putting it on YouTube. Okay, so, uh, it's time for me to fight the CEO and, uh, get out of here. It's been a while. Okay. So, without further ado, why don't we get the show, show on the road? We got eight. Yep, alright, we got our eight tunes. It's been so long since I've uh, done this. Alright, so we got two big cheeses, a yes man, two market managers, two downsizers, and the other yes man. Uh, I hope he's coming. Uh, is he really AFK? He shouldn't be. Come on, bro. Uh, something must have happened. Either he lost connection or something, but he's AFK. Oh, there he is. Alright, take two. Let's go. To this, I'll be moving on to Donald's Dreamland. It's about time. It's good old giggles. And it's a headhunter. Nice. Yep, and then we need to fight these waiters. Oh man. Level 18 cogs, oh boy. Okay, um, I think we'll just start by using sound, that'd be my guess. to a good start here. 
Yeah, we're on to a very good start. We got we got easy cogs. CEO, except the cogs on the second battle are all sorts of types, and they can be all level 11, level 10, level 12, level 13. stuff, level 13s, level 12, level 11, okay. I only have to get up, okay. Um, I don't know, what do you guys want to do? Alright. I'll get this guy over here. I don't know what you two are going to do. You're probably going to aim for level 12. One's going to aim for the 13. Oh boy. They missed. Oh yeah, that was my birthday cake. It missed. both gonna die. Okay, we got a big cheese and a yes man. Level 6. Oh my goodness, big cheese is level 18. Um, okay. Do I want to use my fire? No, I'm gonna save mine. I'm gonna try to use my birthday cake again. Wow, they really must be fighting over there. They must be really kicking butt over there. to use my wedding cake on the big cheese.
Well, that worked out perfectly for those two. And I hope my, hopefully my way to kink hits. Yep. All right, perfect. And back to level eight to nines. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use sound. Perfect. Alright, 13, 14, 14, and 15. I was gonna use birthday cake. Oh shoot, that missed. Hey, excuse me by scrolling down the screen a bit. I'm just adjusting my screen. Alright. Well, that didn't work. not good yeah that's uh I hate that attack it does a lot of damage hmm okay uh we'll try that one more time it's my last hit no goggles by the way He ran out of time, apparently. All right, lightning. And they're still coming, I guess. They're still coming down. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of, rid of the level 15. We did it. Last two. Yay. I'll go ahead and use Zap. Uh, 
Oh, this is gonna work out perfectly. Good deal. Yep, and looks like both sides are done. Yep. Done. Perfect. Good job. Now put on the waiter's clothes. Okay, that's scary. His voice is so... deep. Oh, gosh. <laughs> serve the food I place on a... If you serve a cock three times in a row, it will explode. And etc. Okay... We are dealing with level 12s. I think so. Am I right? Let's see here. Oh no, I think this is tier 3. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, that's just to be sure. I think this is tier 3. Yep. to do this before and whatever cocks we don't serve then we uh, fight so make sure it's clear as many as possible So far, we're doing good. Oh, I'm actually a downsizer level 8, so I still got one more before I am a headhunter. So that'll be nice, that'll be interesting.
we did pretty good for the most part. Uh, with... Uh, with three tables left. Yep, three tables, apparently. Eat up. Alright, good game. <laughs> oh, I should have used my lightning, but I oh well, it works either way. And the other side's not having any other luck. I think the throw missed. Yep, the uh, bonus damage to carry over. Okay, level 12 version 2.0 cogs. Oh shoot, what's the word? I forgot the word. Um glitched on the far left. Then we'll go and use Zap. Zap is awesome. I love Zap. Yeah, I think they're... I think they're... What the heck is going on? Yeah, I think they're sound missed on the other side. Hackers. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy, that's not good. Tune on this. There we go. Very good. Good deal. Alright, we got four more. One's a big cheese. Through your head, honchos. Yep, I'm out of level 7 gags, so I'm going to use my Foghorn. Wow, unbelievable. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Oh no, I'm gonna die! Oh phew, I, I missed. Oh man. Oh man, that was close. Um, I don't know what happened, so I died in uh, a CJ that I tried to do. I don't know what happened, but it was during a cog round, and yeah, I could have died. Oh my goodness. Four. Oh, we get the last four. Yep, they're done. Other side's done already.
nice. Okay. I think we, if we all just go for the left cog. No. Aim for one. Finish him. Takes slow down the CEO and weaken his defenses. Powerful shots against the CEO when he is slowed down have higher chance for stun. Hmm, when they need a job, right? Do it myself. Okay, 800. I will golf. I guess I'll be golfing. Apparently golf does work, and if you um, hit it close enough, uh, on the square bottle, uh, he will stun for a little bit. Alright, just gotta keep hitting him with golf balls. Yes, 800 health. I think tier 3 is 900, and yeah, like that. Uh, someone just stunned him. No, I'm doing it right. I'm just golfing. He's so close to my screen. And he also spins gears, so that's another cool thing about him. <coughs> he 
he spins gears after he's done. Yep, we're doing good so far. It's about halfway done for, for the most part, and then things get really hard. Yep, like that, he's, uh, spinning gears. Yep, now he's reorganizing. And his attacks are now gonna be a lot quicker, and that's gonna be fun. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do some golf a little bit. Or, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna use some salt bottle, bottle stuff. I'm gonna score them. There. I said it. Yep, as you can see, he's starting to get stunned even more. What? I stunned you. You should have been stunned already. Oh, no. I think he's going to downsize pretty soon. Yep, now he's uh, downsizing already. Yeah, he should have stunned. What the heck? All right, he's almost dead. Yeah, this fight takes a lot quicker than I thought it would be. All right, he's about done. Gotcha! Yes! Final KO! <laughs> Final KO, right here. Alright, test, my test. That was good. That was a great CEO. Alright, you did it, you demoted the CEO. Here, take these pink slips the CEO left behind. With it, you'll be able to fire cogs in a battle. Alright, and that concludes the, that concludes everything in Acorn Acres. Now I need to return this to Professor Pi quick. Alright, yep. Alright, off I go. Alright, to Peanut Place. You know, 
I gotta be honest, I actually enjoyed being in this place. At least it's not in the bird, because I honestly I didn't like the bird because it was a lot of work. It was so much work. Okay. Alright, buddy. You did it, Benny Jr. You did something that many tunes couldn't. You went from a new tune fresh to Toon Town and rose through the ranks. From the tune I foolishly underestimated to this. A tune that's so strong and so capable that you can take down an entire head of the department with that little help. You're, you are one of the mightiest tunes of the resistance in my eyes. Congratulations, Benny Jr. on everything. I don't have anything else for you here. It's best you speak with Flippy from here. But if you ever visit the land of Acorn Acres, you're always welcome to drop by my shop for a few words. Or tanning supplies if you're interested in that. Good luck out there. Have fun time here in Toontown. Alright, looks like I am now finished with Acorn Acres. And then I'll be heading towards Dreamland. And I'm actually pretty excited for Dreamland. Alright, the star of the show. Um, yep, time to go see Flippy. Alright. Flippy's office, come in. Alright. Hi, Flippy. There you are, the star of the show. How does it feel, Benny Jr.? Knowing that you come here and single handedly held basically every tune in Toontown. From your humble beginnings training with the resistance here in Toontown Central, to protecting the tunes of Barnacle Boatyard from invading cogs. Experimenting firsthand what real tests will be ahead of you in your short time in Acorn Acres. Learning from the elders while also the same thing while teaching them a few things. Helping tunes into flow gardens as well as setting a foundation for us to plan and find Lima. Taking down the cash bots and Mesomelody land and getting Mozart back on track. Finding a little old man like a true bloodhound and giving the law bots a present they won't forget. Strapping your... I can't read all that text. And training Carnate Cornacres more. Helping good old Gil and Professor Vi take down the CEO's banquet. It's been a real journey for you, Benny Jr. I'm proud of you. I feel proud too. Our job here isn't done yet, but we're in such a better place. Soon we'll roll out more planes to launch attacks on those cogs, but we had to organize them. Maybe this is a chance for vacation after all. If you don't mind the cogs, that is. Oh, by the way, I heard Professor P wanted a word with you, not sure what it is about. I won't hold you up any longer, but I'm sure I'm glad you're around. Have fun in Toontown, Mini Junior. Okay. Alright, I gotta go talk to Professor Pete. Yeah, there's more. I still got Dreamland to take care of. Dreamland, Dreamland, Dreamland. Okay, Professor Pete. I don't know, I think it's because I'm all wired up. Okay. Benny Jr., listen closely. Flippy doesn't want me to mention any word of this, but they need someone like you to help. Who's they? You'll see. I've gotten word from them that something really fishy has been going on lately with the cogs. I want you to go see them about this. Just trust me on this, Benny Jr., they're trusted a source of mine. A team that's been under wraps for a long time, but keep it quiet. Now listen closely. They have an undercover building in 
Drowsy Dreamland. I want you to go see them. Their shop is dim, nightlight scientifically proven. Inside you'll find Dr. Dim. He won't know you're coming, so tell him I sent you. If he doesn't believe you, just say words, Luna Labs. You'll get his attention. Now go and don't let anyone know I told you. Alright, I go visit Dr. Dim on Twilight Terrence. So, I'll just make my way through the Berg. And then after I get done speaking with him, I think I'm going to end the video there. Alright, well I'm excited. I'm happy I came all this way. Alright. And if I'm correct, the place should be around the corner. And then it's just the mad dash to my right. Yep, right here, Twilight Terrence. And I'm looking for a place called, um, shoot, I forgot the place. But yeah, here I am. Drowsy Dreamland. Alright. Yeah, the place should be here somewhere. Okay, radios. Oh yeah, and the cogs are a lot tougher here too. Okay, uh, should be here somewhere. Yeah, it's called Dim... It's called Dim Nightlights. Uh... Yeah, right here. Right next to the playground. Hello! How's it going? Hello, welcome to Dim Nightlights. Number one provider of nightlights in Drowsy Dreamland. What would you like to order? Moon-shaped? Sun-shaped? Pie-shaped? Shape, shaped? Pete sent you? Ah, you're quite hilarious, Benny Jr. Seriously though, what nightlight would you like? I don't want a nightlight. I believe you now. I'm guessing you hear about the recent fightings, correct? Well, let me explain. I'm Dr. Dim, one of the members of the Pratishtis Looney Lab Science Group. We're a team of scientists working together to make Toontown the best version of itself that can be. Oh, you're from Toontown Rewritten, okay. We invented many of the important tune mainstays, from portable holes to the name generator and even the lab power trolley. But we stay out of the public eye to keep them focus lasered in, and public inquiries of our, our delicate workout. This comes at a cost, however. Just like any laboratory we need. Ahem. Jelly beans to operate, so that's where the shark comes into play. We put a few of our creative minds together and found a solution to our empty piggy bank issue. Nightlights. That's right, we designed the most perfect dim nightlight so much that it's scientifically proven. People in Drowsy dream of an Adora and it flies off the shelves. So that's how we operate. Anyways, since you're here, I and a fellow scientist at Lunar Labs can indeed use your help like Professor Pete suggested. We've been working hard at work developing a cog activity radar of sorts, a machine capable of monitoring the accurate movement of cogs and their bosses alike. We recently have nearly perfected it, and we seem to think there's been a peculiar movement happening lately. This is where you come in. While we continue to... Man, this person does a lot of dialogue. Continue to work, develop, and fine-tune to our projects. We can have you providing with us a critical field of research. Now, let's start simple. I'm giving you this radar kit. Keep it on your person at all times. I would like to study each department roaming in this region with the device as they seem to have some sort of peculiar movement. Start with cell bots. 
to beat them and bring me the findings. I'll discuss our future plans with you upon your completion. Good luck, and thanks for your help. Alright, Toons. This is the new beginning of Drowsy Dreamland. I'd like to thank you for watching this. In the meantime, I'd like to thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, we defeated the CEO, moved on to Drowsy Dreamland. So anyways, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video of Toontown Corporate Clash. Thank <laughs> you.